Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so I just wanted to kind of comment on something that I've noticed for a, for a while now, and it's that uh, on Kama, the producers of um, Dofus and Wakfu and all these games, uh, it it seems to me that you know that that they kind of uh, they they work on too many projects at once. You know, I don't want to sound like a like I'm being negative or anything, but it, it just seems to me, you know, so I, so I, I open up the Uncama launcher, you know, I haven't played in a long time and I see this new game, one more gate, you know, roguelite deck builder, um, strategic, you know, the game looks really good, you know, um, it, it, it's a cool idea. Um, but am I lying in that, you know, that it, it just looks like a game that I could have downloaded off of steam, you know, that, that, and and what would be the difference between that and and this this company you know um and Kama, it, it, it's it's a pretty i guess large company in france but at the end of the day it's it's not like um ea or activision or uh ubisoft or some of these like really really big companies these big game companies right like this is still at the end of the day not the biggest uh game company Right. So all I'm trying to say is basically um, they heard don't they heard the it's like they heard the phrase don't put all your eggs in one basket and they took it like way too far. And um, they're just they have to say they have too many projects is an understatement. So let me just go through it. Right. They have Dofus, of course. Right. And there's some like pretty consistent like updates that are coming for Dofus. You know, I'd say probably maybe every two to three months or something like that. Right. Um, Which is good. But then they, so now that then they release Dofus Retro, right? And that's cool for people who want to play for the nostalgia factors. I'm not sure how often updates actually come to this. I mean, maybe that would like uh, defeat the purpose of Retro anyways. But then you have a game like Wakfu, right? Which is in, in all intents and purposes, this game is dead. Um, the player base is so low that I, I, have, I, I, I just don't see a purpose. And I mean, you can play the game. There's nothing wrong with that, but... It's just, if you're looking for a thriving online community, you're, I, I really don't think you're going to find it here. Okay, then let's go to the next project, Kras Maga. Um, so the last update here is from two years ago. Um, I tried to look a gameplay of this, and it was only, you know, uh, it was all in French and only French speakers. Um, I don't even know if this game is still running, but it's here, I guess. Um and it was a similar, I think, card-like game to to this one more gate game, and then uh, and then yeah, they got this one more gate, and then they're okay. So the, then they're working on Waven as well, um, and Waven looks really good. I really like what they've uh, what they've got out so far. But uh, on top of working on Waven, um, they said that they are. Let me just go back here. Um, Dofus Unity is a work in progress. This was from two years ago, and you know. This looks nice. It, it it would be cool if I could play Dofus like this. But um, if you're working on 20 projects at the same time, I mean, it's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of common sense. You know, you can only handle so much, so many things at, at the same time, right? And I'm not really sure what their goal is here. I think maybe they think one of these games um, will, will they'll, they'll strike it rich or something and it'll it'll just become really popular i really don't know and then you know they have these other kind of arcade like games that they've uh created like super nano blaster ten dollars like i don't know who's gonna buy this but um uh so so then there's that and then also um they've made wakfu you know which was successful it was very successful wakfu season one two three um and I know that, you know, Wakfu has been tremendously successful. We're still waiting for season four. So that's another project they're taking on. And then, um, let me see. And so, and then, and then you go to their actual shop right here and they have, you know, all this merchandise, which is great. It, it, I'm happy they have merchandise here, like, um, Brack, Mars, Scarf, Bonta, Scarf. Maybe some of you guys didn't even know this stuff existed. Um, this isn't an ad for them or anything because I don't work for them. I mean, I don't really care, but it's just it. So, so they have all this stuff where they're trying to get like multiple sources of revenue. I mean, I, did you guys know there's a there's a manga for Dofus? 
I mean, I, I didn't know this stuff existed. Dofus Double Edition Volume 11. I've never, ever heard of this. Graphic novels, novels, art books, um, board game, that the Cross Maga thing, Crossmaster, some other uh, mangas, novels, Radiant. I mean, I, I've, I've never heard of this. The front cover looks pretty cool. I've just, I don't know, like, maybe this is really popular in France or something. I mean, that's the only thing that I can, that I can think of. But what I'm trying to get across overall with this video is that they uh, they have way too many projects. And it feels like to me, if they would just focus on one or two at the most, um, that they would see uh, not only would the player base be happier because there'd be more frequent updates in the games that most of the player base actually cares about, um, but they would actually be able to finish some of those projects and get them get them going, right? Because, I mean, you're talking about Wave and Alpha, which is good. You know, there should be an Alpha. There should be um, feedback and everything, and, and that's important, obviously. But, um, you know, this game has been talked about for years and years and years now, still hasn't come out, and, you know, just graphically, the graphic fidelity of the game, this isn't like you're creating you know the most beautiful work of art on the planet you know this is just it, it, it's a it's a it's a it's a um it, it, graphically you know it, it's it's not the most complex and so you know i don't know and then i guess it's just kind of frustrating as a fan because you start to think well if they would just focus on a couple of these games instead of creating all these new projects and everything maybe um we would have these games by now. And then another thing that I wanted to talk about um, was basically uh, the advertisement for Dofus. So this is a post about a year ago. Um, why does Dofus not care about advertisement and the international player base? Now, I think it's a bit extreme to say they don't care about the international player base. I think they obviously do. You know, there's there's an entire website dedicated to us. The, the game has been translated to English and Spanish and Portuguese, and there's international servers, obviously. Um, so to say they don't really care about us, I mean, I feel like this person was probably a bit hurt, and so they said that. Um... But to to say now, I think they're on the money about the advertisement part. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only person who said this because I've read it all about this. But um, Dofus doesn't really uh, advertise well. It used to be on Steam, which was interesting, and then they took it off Steam. And I and I for the life of me, I could not find an answer why. I guess they just it was a profit loss for them or something. Or maybe the Steam launcher was just interfering with the Ancama launchers, or, or I, I don't know. I really don't know. But that's like to me, that is like the go-to place for a lot of games these days. And to not have your game on Steam, like to have Wakfu on Steam, which is basically a dead game, but you're not going to have Dofus on Steam. That's very strange to me. Um, so hopefully, Waven will at least be released on Steam. But um, and then you know this guy. You know, he actually does bring up a good um, top, you know, good point here. So they wasted a lot of potential here for the international community. I mean, I have people commenting on my video from all parts of the world. Um, I've interacted with people in discords uh, for Dofus from all parts of the world, from former Yugoslavia, where I'm from, you know, Bosnia and Serbia, Croatia. Uh, there's Italian players. There are people from Brazil and you know, the, Germany, like, uh, you know, I could name like a, a thousand places, you know, and, and there's bound to be like one Dofus player, right? And all I'm trying to say with that is that you, you have this strong international community and um, to not, to not want to, 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 to waste that potential, um, it just seems like a, like a, like a big mistake. I understand that most of your player base is in France, but it, I think it would go a long way if, you know, you follow uh, this person's suggestion. I mean, it's so what they're saying is um, if you find a, like a, a um, influencer with, a, with a more than a million subscribers, right? Um, let's say you take a small English speaking Dofus YouTuber. You know, I'm not saying me or anything, but th th there's there's someone out there and you let them explain and play with play Dofus with with one of these big YouTubers and or or a Twitch streamer, right? 
and they will easily get you know 100,000 views um and you know you pay you know the the Twitch streamer and maybe you pay the 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 other YouTuber a certain amount and um you know even if like let's say 5% of that 100,000 try the game that's that would still create a a a whole new wave of thousands of players right like if it was 10% or something like it it would be massive right and now right now this reddit is sitting at about 15,000 members which is you know it's not bad but when you look at other games like old school runescape i think um it was it, i think it was at 600,000 and then obviously like the the massive games like world of warcraft had like millions of millions of members and all that and i'm not saying dofus has to be you know like as popular as old school runescape or world of warcraft but it's just um with those games it felt like um it was like a a global presence and it felt more um that that everyone's everyone was being sort of included right and um that advertisement for those games were just were everywhere and that it was it was talked about you know um, amongst everyone um so and you can look at this this is dofus's official youtube channel right and this one is the french version um so let's see what the french version has uh two weeks ago they released uh, you know osatopia the the new temporous server and you know you know two weeks ago three months ago four months ago oh okay so it's it's updated pretty regularly and now let's look at the international one Oh, nine months ago, some board game that that no one has ever heard of. One year ago, Super Nano Blaster, five thousand views. You know, Dream Runner, Dream Dream Runners. Um, more board games. Draftosaurus, like Wakfu Season Three. Okay, this this got some views because people care about Wakfu. Wakfu again, it got more views, and what i'm trying to say is you know and then if you go back like, like look at this like you go from nine months to two years three four years like this isn't updated at all like like who is who is um the official international channel on comma from in in 2008 they joined so it's just like it it, it feels like they you know this guy kind of has a point it makes you feel like they don't oh where where is it um it kind of makes them feel like like they don't really care about the international community in a way, you know. It's it's not their primary focus. Um, and then so as as a as someone who plays the game, it um, I don't know. It just kind of irritates me, you know. It feels like if they just spent their time working on one thing and also advertising for the game and involving the international community instead of and trying to spread the game outside of France, which it easily could. I mean, this is one of the most unique and fun uh, MMO. There is no other like turn-based strategy, you know, top-down MMORPG. Like, I, I tried to look into some other ones, but th this is pretty much it. There is no other turn-based MMORPG that's actually like popular and still still going. You know, like as far as I know. I mean, maybe you guys can correct me, but I tried to look into it. And this is like, this is the game that kind of broke, you know, that, that mold or whatever, you know, it, it, it like, it set the, it set the standard, I suppose. Right. And, um, I would just like to see, uh, you know, them kind of invest more in, in advertising and, you know, you know, I mean, for God's sake, get the game back on steam. Like, like, I, you know, or like. Uh, you know, go go on Twitch and pay. You know, like I like like just a couple months ago. I know I know Guild Wars Two is much a is a much bigger game, and they can probably afford to do this more than Dofus. But hey, with with all the all this goddamn stuff you guys are selling, and 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 Wakfu, and you know all this other revenue you guys are raking in, I don't know. I feel like you guys can afford to to pay some Twitch streamers to play your game. They'll they're gonna easily get you know hundreds of thousands of views. Um, and if even five or ten percent of of the people watching like say like, hey, you know, this game looks pretty cool. My favorite streamer plays it. Let me check it out. You know, let me at least check it out. Let me see. Let me let me at least give you guys some feedback. Let me see. And then you know, maybe some of those people will get hooked, and and there you go. And then you you make your money back, right? So 
it's a wise, in my opinion, you know, I'm not a financial expert, but it just seems like a, a good idea in terms of advertising and and kind of um and 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 just keeping the game going forward, right? So if there are like three things I'd say, um, probably I don't know if it's two or three, but one it would be to um to focus on one or two projects at a time at the most because I think that's what's going to benefit you and your fan base and then at the same time advertise more for the international community and potentially do a Twitch sponsor um I really think that's going to go a long way I think that's going to go a long way but um those are just some of my thoughts you know in terms of Dofus you know um I might be getting back into it. I am starting a, a pretty busy job soon, so I don't know how much free time I'll have. But on the on the days that I do have free time, I, I might upload, you know, just like a quick PvP video or something like that with some commentary. But you know, uh, that's that that's basically where I'm at right now. But um, I, I still love the game. I'm playing other games right now, but um, I, I still love Dofus. I always will. It's just uh, something that I kind of, you know, I feel it, it's kind of like a, tr like, it feels tragic in a way, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like something that you love for, for so long, you know, it just kind of starts to fade away. And um, I'm not saying Dofus is dying, but it, it certainly isn't as thriving as it used to be. And I think there are some reasons for that, that I went over in this video. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um... I could be wrong here, but these are just some of my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching the video, and have a great day. Peace.